place. Crate. <laughs> Drop. Good. No more. Let's go inside. If you're watching this video, I can only guess two things. Either one, your dog is between six months old to about a year old, or two, you're just doing some research before you actually pick up your pup. One of the most overlooked things in raising a puppy is teaching your dog an off switch, and many people don't realize this until they're in the thick of it. All of a sudden, they have this puppy who is always wanting to play, or is always wanting to train, or always has to be doing something. Training a mentally stable dog is much more important than teaching your dog cool commands, and you have to realize that an off switch for a dog is not something that comes naturally to them. You have to teach them how to just turn off. Many people think because their puppy is acting crazy that they need to play with them some more or train with them some more or just be doing more things with them in general, but that's not always the case. Now I'm all for fulfilling your dog's needs. You have to fulfill their needs. But if you're doing this in order to get them to settle, you're not teaching them to settle. What you're doing is you're first off creating yourself a super athlete and secondly, you're just tiring them out to the point of exhaustion. Now what you're doing is you're creating yourself a bit of an anxious dog because once they are up, once they're done sleeping, they're gonna feel like they have to be doing something all the time. So in this video, I want to go over the mental state of our dogs and giving them an off switch. The first thing that we're gonna do is crate train them. Now I am a huge advocate for crate training. There are so many positives to it. It helps with potty training. It helps with separation anxiety. It helps them from getting into bad habits. It helps them from getting into things you don't want them to. It gives you a break from them. But what we're gonna focus on in this video is the beginning stages of the off switch. How, you may ask? Well, once they're inside of the crate, they have nothing better else to do. There are no distractions, there are no temptations. It's just them and where they sleep. So what do they do? Well, exactly that, they just fall asleep. Now, of course, you're gonna have to train them and create a positive association to the crate, but this is the beginning stages of the off switch. So the next step in the off switch is teaching your puppy the place command. Now, you may be saying my puppy is completely crate trained, but when I let them out, they act totally crazy. Now, this is normal because a lot of the good things are happening outside of the crate. We play with them, we train with them, we take them on walks, on hikes, we cuddle them, the list keeps going on. So the next step in teaching our puppy the off switch is teaching them the place command. Now you could think of the place command kind of like your spot on the couch. When you go to your spot on the couch you just relax, you may watch TV, read a book, go on your phone, but the end goal of going to that spot is to relax. Now that's what we want to teach our puppy. When we put them on place, it's time to relax. Now another reason why we're teaching our puppy the place command is to show them that it's not always go time. We're not always going to be doing stuff. Sometimes we're just going to hang out and relax. Now a lot of people like to let their dogs up on the couch and I'm totally cool with that. I let Winston up on the couch, but that is a privilege. It is not a right. He has earned that privilege by showing me that he can just turn off, right? And he's able to just chill on place and do absolutely nothing. Now, even eventually, if your dog does have an off switch, but they have behavioral issues such as resource guarding, separation anxiety, or aggression, I just would not allow them on the couch. That's just a recipe for disaster. Another reason why teaching the place command is so great is because you can translate that outside. You can literally bring the place outside and this has helped so much with Bella's training as you know she's kind of nervous around people so what I did was I brought something familiar to her which was the place I took it outside and we just did training exercises out there and it helped so much with her boosting her confidence around other people all right guys so now it's time for me to share the exciting news that I've been holding on to so as you know my channel is about my two Australian Shepherds and I like to make videos about tips and tricks and you know just to help you guys where I can. Now a lot of you have been reaching out to me on Instagram and in the comments and I try to reply to all of you and just kind of give you more than what the videos are offering. Now around May or June last year my, my, my trainer he approached me and said hey like I'm running an apprenticeship program, do you want in? And at the time I was thinking about it, but then in the end I turned it down and I just said thank you for the opportunity. Um, then fast forward towards the end of 2023 and I'm like really kicking myself in the pants because I do genuinely enjoy working with dogs and it's, it's become a hobby of mine. But I don't want it to just be a hobby anymore. I want to make it into a career. So I asked my trainer, I'm like, hey, are you running the apprenticeship program again? And he said yes. So the program is starting back up in April and I'm changing careers. I'm becoming a dog trainer. 
Now, what comes with this is that I'm going to be obviously offering my services at that point, right? So um, what I'm going to start out with is just kind of running a subscription service. And what, what that's going to entail is that you can just reach out to me for any questions you have. I'll get back to you. You could even send me videos and show me what you're working on. And I'll kind of give you some tips on tricks and on, on stuff. To, you know, let's say if you're trying to teach your dog heel, for example, I can kind of critique that and just, you know, say, hey, instead of doing this, do it this way. Um, we'll be able to also do like online sessions uh, for those who are like, I don't know, the other side of the world, right? Uh, so basically what I'm trying to tell you is that I'm gonna be offering my services uh, later on this year once I do complete the program. And I just wanna take the opportunity to thank you guys so much. Like I would have not gotten to this point without you guys. So thank you so much. I'm looking forward to this year and I'll see you guys in the next video.